Come on, star. Will we be in? You too? Bueno. All right, so today is a, another edition of Mezcal Monday. This video, it's not really, I guess it's a sponsored video, uh, but this was a gift, I guess, from the owner of Texas Tea Beer and Wine uh, in Kilgore, Texas. I stopped in there one day looking for stuff and just, you never know, you stop at a little mom and pop store and they might have something sitting there that just randomly appeared. Well, this is, um, he just had this uh, mezcal, this Reposado mezcal from La Gita. And I, don't, I think I had this one before, but I don't know if it was this specific one anyway. So it is uh, La Gita Reposado. It is, has the, has a little worm in there. So we got the worm. And I do believe this one actually came from Mexico because it has the same style uh, pour spout that they have in Mexico. So I believe this one came from Mexico. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so it's a Lejita Reposado. Well, I've got to, let me get a little, give, give me a little touch. Don't need much, just a little touch. So what I did, he asked me to do a video on it and give me, he's not a drinker. He just really doesn't know. Like I'm trying to, I need to go back out there and talk to the guy, see if I can help him get more acquainted with whiskeys and whatnot. But um, he gave it to me and just, he said, just let me know what you think. Can you get up here? So what I did, so I tasted it. I tasted it. Ow! Took you out. Took you out. Son of a bitch. Jump up and hit my damn funny bone. So anyway, without further interruptions, took you out. Anyway, I took this, I took half of this bottle and I poured it in, say, in this uh, mason jar. And I had an old spiral, old charred spiral, one of my former uh, wild turkey spirals. Well, it is a wild turkey spiral, but it has been used to age clear liquor in the past. So it has a very sweet, heavy corn presence on the spiral already. And it's already been used. Ah, man, it, it, I left it in this, in that bottle I put this. You can see the difference in the color. So this one's almost kind of turning like dark, dark gold with a black hue versus this one, it's just very light. So you can see the difference in the color, or even from this direction. So you can see how much difference, can y'all tell, has how much the, uh, I can't talk, how much the little spiral has made an effect. I'm gonna give y'all, give y'all my opinion on both. So it's mezcal, smoky, smells like charred plastic. It's really, it's, this would probably be like a, in my opinion, a middle of the road mezcal. It's not super charred. It doesn't have that super smoky flavor. Whereas, and it's, it's not near as high end as some of the boutique mezcals. And they're like super good drink like a scotch almost this one has a little bit of that same presence but it also still has some of that like burnt plastic flavor so it's an all right one it might be good for cocktails which i've heard like a, a smoky old-fashioned or a old-fashioned made with mezcals are pretty good but anyway i haven't tried this one yet and like i said it's been in there for about a month a little over a month um been in there for a little over a month and uh, I just want to see what the reused spiral does to the young mezcal all right here we go oh yeah I can smell that corn liquor 
it's amazing just just one month in that little jar with that previously used spiral and the corn liquor it's actually like pulled that that corn and this was like real real current liquor l-i-k-k-e-r real current liquor it's amazing how much flavor the mezcal has pulled out of that spiral it's just mezcal with like corn on top of it it's elote <laughs> all right let me see how it tastes i don't know if it really had made much of an improvement on it just because it was a used spiral you do get some sweetness from the corn but you still get all the it's it's really just like blended corn whiskey and mezcal it really didn't kind of i don't know i don't think i i mean it's not bad i don't think it's any worse than its original but i also don't think it's any better i don't know if it was maybe i should use use the rest of this and put a fresh spiral in it which i've done that in the past with a higher end mezcal like a boutique mezcal was 60 dollars. i think this one's around a 40 dollar bottle um i don't know i'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on this one try it what are you eating quit eating paper towels she straight up dug a paper towel out of the trash can and she's just down there chewing on it making a mess what the hell what is wrong with you so anyway um yeah, I might have to go back to the drawing board on this one. Use a little bit, maybe a, a newer spiral, or I have those uh, I have those chunks of wood that Mike from Houston sent me. I might char one of those bad boys up and then dump everything back off in here again just to see what happens. But all in all, I don't think it's a bad mezcal. It's not something that I would just immediately run to and just like, oh, it's so good. I need to get it. But maybe it's good for cocktails i would say cocktails yeah might have to try that in the future if i come up with a good cocktail i'll let you guys know but i think that's all i got on this one it's it's an okay it's an okay mezcal it doesn't taste like burnt plastic like some of the cheap low-end ones do but it's also not you can tell the it's this is like this is like the jim beam what no what would be better not Jim Beam White Label, because that's like low-end mezcals. This would probably be the Jack Daniels Black Label of mezcals. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it's all right. That's all I got. But anyway, don't forget, like the video and subscribe. Even if you didn't like the video, hit that like button anyway. Uh, check the description below for all the links to help out with the bills around the house. Just a reminder to everyone, if you stuck around this long, the first 24 days of December are going to be nothing but scotch. So get ready for it. Brock sent me the 24-day advent calendar from... I can't read it from here. But it's the Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar. So the first 24 days of December will be scotch. Scotchy scotch scotch. I love scotch. So, don't forget, check out the Bearded Idiots. Uh, like always, drink some whiskey, you share it with your friends and family. Like the, uh, the owner, I wish I remembered his name. His name was Robert Paulson. No, <laughs> it wasn't. He's, he's, not, he's not a white guy. He's uh, of ethnic origins elsewhere. He's darker complected. But I don't think he's Hispanic. So, I don't know. Maybe like Vietnamese? Cambodian, maybe? He might be Asian. He might be one of those uh, Asian heritage countries like uh, the Philippines where they look Asian, but they have Hispanic last names. It's so weird. Anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching. Like always, be safe. Don't drink and drive. Take care. Um, yeah. We'll see you next time. Cheers.